Hi everyone. Uh, in today's video, we uh, take up a new question from Captain Subramaniam's Ship Stability Series Part 2. And this question is uh, from exercise number 22, question number 16, which is an unsolved question and deals with trim type A problems. All right. So in this question, we have a ship uh, which is 160 meters long and it has MCTC as 200 ton meter. The HF is 2.8 meters forward. This is the longitudinal distance of the center of flotation from midships. And the TPC is given as 24. The present drafts are 7.4 meters forward and 8.8 .8 meters aft. 720 tons of cargo is required to be loaded. Space is available in number two lower hold. The center of gravity or the longitudinal center of gravity from the midship is 45 meters forward and there is some more space available in number four lower hold the center of gravity or the longitudinal center of gravity is 35 meters aft from midships you have to find out how much to put in each compartment if the aft draft is required to be nine meters on completion what is the final draft forward all right so there are two things that you have to find out firstly is how much to put in each if the aft draft is required to be nine meters and uh, secondly you have to find out what is the final draft forward all right so before we go ahead and start solving this question let's draw a diagram and then understand what is it that uh, we are required to be doing in this question so this vessel is trimmed by stern so let me just draw a vessel which is kind of trimmed by stern the forward draft is given to us as 7.4 meters and the aft draft is given to us as 8.8 .8 meters all right then we also can draw the midship of the vessel and i will call it h of course and uh, there is a space available in number two lower hold number two lower hold let's say somewhere here this is g and this h to g this distance here is uh, 45 meters forward and then we have number four lower hold somewhere here let's say and this distance is 35 meters aft and the total length of the vessel is given to us as 160 meters long so that would mean that uh, from aft perpendicular to midship is 80 meters long and from midship to forward perpendicular is 80 meters long as well so half of the length between perpendicular uh, we have 720 tons of cargo to be loaded so let's say that we will load x amount of cargo here and the remaining cargo 720 minus x can be loaded here all right is there anything else that is given to us so oh center of flotation we haven't yet marked center of flotation so i will just use a different color center of flotation is 2.8 meters forward so i just call this here 2.8 meters forward of midship is the center of flotation all right uh, so let's get started now so the first thing we have to remember is that the present draft aft is 8.8 meters right and the aft draft required is 9 meters right so sinkage required aft how much do you have to sink the vessel by 0 0.2 meters all right however you have to remember when you load 
20 tons of cargo it doesn't matter where you are loading there will be an overall sinkage of the vessel because of the weight of the cargo i mean of course it matters where you are loading but the 720 tons of the cargo will cause a overall sinkage so of course if you load the entire cargo in the forward part of the vessel the forward part will sink much more than the aft part that is not what i mean i mean that generally there will be an overall sinkage so this overall sinkage or we can call it mean sinkage of the vessel mean sinkage can be calculated by the weight loaded 720 tons divided by the tpc which is 24 so this is tpc and let's call it the weight loaded and here you will get 0 0.30 meters right your answer you will get is 30 but that will be in centimeters but i've just converted into meters by dividing it by 100 because uh, over here we have also found out that the sinkage required aft is 0 0.24 meter now because you will be sinking the vessel by 0 0.30 and the sinkage required is 0 0.20 meters your overall change in the trim aft required is basically 0 0.10 and this is that you have to make the vessel rise by 0 0.104 meter right so this is sinkage and this is sinkage that was required so basically there will be more sinkage than sinkage required so from 8.8 .8, if i add 0.3 of sinkage it becomes 9.1 but you have to stop when the draft is 9 so basically you have to make the aft part of the vessel rise by 0.1 so that is why change in the trim aft required is 0.1 of a meter right, you can call it 0.1 of a meter or you can call it 10 centimeters here all right now with that information we proceed to the next step now well, this this is clear to us we proceed to the next step so now in the next step we have to i'll just change the color of the pen here i have told you that uh, we can load x amount of tons in number four lower hold and maybe 720 x minus x tons of car cargo in number two lower hold all right so in number four lower hold assume to load x tons and number two lower hold assume to load the remaining which is 720 because 720 is what you can load in all so 720 minus x tons all right so when you load this cargo in these spaces there will be some kind of a trimming moment forward and aft so this trimming moment is now to be calculated but when we calculate trimming moment remember the distance that we take is not hg but f to g so we take this distance here f to g and this f to g can be calculated very easily because you know that from midship to the forward perpendicular from midship to the number two lower hold was 45 meters but from midship to center of rotation is 2.8 meters so this distance here will be nothing but 45 minus 2.8 which is equal to 42.2 meters so we always whenever we talk about trim remember we always talk about with perspective to the center of rotation all right so again from here to here so if i calculate this distance from f to rather from f to number four lower hold then this will be 35 plus 2.8 which is equal to 37.8 meters that is from center of rotation to the center of gravity or the longitudinal center of gravity of the cargo hold space in this case number four lower hold so how is the trimming moment calculated so the trimming moment because of cargo loaded so whenever you will load cargo there will be some trim right so that will be calculated as because number four lower hold distance is 37.8 so we'll say x cargo loaded multiplied by 37.8 meters right and we have 700 
20 so uh, are you are you understanding what we are doing here so th remember this is something that we are calculating as trimming moment so trimming moment so when i load x cargo here that is at a space of 37.8 meters sorry about that 37.8 meters from the center of rotation right so this x here we are loading at 37.8 meters from the center of rotation and similarly when we are loading 720 minus x we are loading it at 42.2 meters from the center of rotation so that is what we are doing here right and you remember that the, the trimming change required is 0.1 meter all right so we are moving towards that objective so remember that when you load in the forward part of the vessel the trimming moment will be different from when you load at the aft part of the vessel right so therefore the difference in the trimming moment is what you have to find out so for example if you are loading 720 minus x tons of cargo in number two lower hold at 42.2 meters that trimming moment has to be uh, calculated with respect to the trimming moment cost when you are loading x amount of cargo at 37.8 meters all right so this is the net trimming moment right now how do i find out the value so let's go now to the fact that we found out the trimming change aft required is 0 0.10 meters but trimming change aft is also equal to af that is from aft perpendicular to center of rotation I'll, I'll show you what that is divided by length between perpendicular multiplied by the overall change in the trim so from aft perpendicular to center of rotation is so from our perpendicular to midship is 80 meters we have figured that out already and then we have 2.8 meters more so 80 meters plus 2.8 meters is 82.8 meters this is equal to your af or from our perpendicular to center of rotation rest is given to you so 0 0.10 that is ta equals 82.8 divided by length between perpendicular given to us as 160 and change in the trim overall change in the trim so this way we can find out tc equals 160 by 0 0.10 divided by 82.8 and just done some simple transposition so taking this here bringing this down is 0 0.193 meters or we can also call it 19.3 centimeters by multiplying by 100 this is the overall change in the trim required but overall change in the trim required is also equal to trimming moment divided by MCTC. So we can say 19.3 centimeters equals trimming moment, we call it TM, let's say, divided by MCTC is given to us as 200. So trimming moment is equal to 200 multiplied by 19.3 which is equal to 3860 just taking this here right however we have also determined that this is the net trimming moment caused by loading of cargo so this is also trimming moment and this is also trimming moment so we can equate these two equations so how do we do that so we will say 720 minus x multiplied by 42.2 minus 37.8 x equals 3860. So this becomes 30384 minus 42.2 x. So you have to multiply 42.2 by 720 and also by x minus 37.8x equals 3860 and then 
just keep the x values on one side so this becomes so you can take them and this becomes 80x equals 26384 or x equals 26384 sorry 263 26384 divided by 80 which is equal to I think I have got something wrong am I got something wrong? 3860 so no I've got something wrong here sorry guys I'll just correct this so my calculator so this is still 80x so 42.2 plus 37.8 is 80x and this is nothing but 30384 minus 3860 so that is where i went wrong i think 30384 minus 3860 is equal to 26524 sorry yeah 26524 divided by 80 divided by 80 is equal to 331 0.55 tons so this x or 33155.55 tons will be loaded at number 4 lower hold and the remaining cargo 720 minus 331.55 will give me 388.45 tons to be loaded in number 2 lower hold all right so i found the both the weights loaded to be loaded but that is not where the question is going to end we also have to find the final draft forward the final draft after is of course we know is nine meters but we'll confirm that as well but let's find the final draft forward so currently so current drafts are forward and aft of course we have 7.4 meters and 8.80 then we have sinkage sinkage we have we calculated sinkage remember is 30 centimeters or 0.3 meters actually that is the mean sinkage right so we have to apply it to both the drafts like i told you it applies to both drafts and sinkage means vessel is going to sink further 0.30 so this makes it 7.70 and 9.10 but change in the trim aft i know is 0 0.10 meters right so we found that out from here and that is why we load that amount of cargo this is the value i have been using throughout to find out these weights so i know that change in the trim aft will be 0 0.10 so this will become 9 meters which is the required draft but what is the change in the trim forward required let's find that out now i have found out that trim change overall trim change is 0 0.193 trim aft is equal to 0 0.100 so trim forward a change in the trim forward will be subtracting one from the other 0 0.093 meters so I'll take that here 0 0.093 I will delete it now I don't need this and then final draft and of course I will add this because you are you know you are loading more see you are loading more cargo in number two lower hold than number four lower hold so therefore you'll be adding the trim change forward all right so this becomes 7.793 meters forward draft that's it so i found out the final drafts i have found out the weights to be loaded and i've decided to go slow in this video because sometimes it's quite confusing to students as to what is happening so i hope you didn't mind that so watch this video a few times to understand exactly how to approach such questions i'll take up one more example in future uh, I think I've handled, I've, I've, I've solved most of the questions from this exercise, but I will take up one more example and uh, show you the solution. Thank you for watching the video, guys, and let me know what you thought about it. Bye for now, and good luck with your.